Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Adamus character of our world around us and this time we will talk about another disease of modern times uh, which is called Big Data. Big Data is nothing else than accumulating as, as much as possible data in any topic possible and later using many algorithm, algorithms and computers to uh, calculate something out of this data, segregate them, arrange them and so on. Yeah, it's, I would say, type of riskless science because uh, the, the truth is like this. If one has a lot of data in some topic, one can always select um, examples that confirms uh, the hypothesis of the person who is selecting the examples and one can always tweak algorithm also to select examples which are wanted or and simply this data uh, if one makes analysis of them with the available alg algorithms are simply inconclusive because the diversity complexity of the nature like environmental systems like human or animal organism like cellular metabolism and so on is so huge that there is no algorithm that would describe it perfectly and would uh, tell us something more about the system and this is the problem of modern science especially bioscience that people generate a lot of data without any uh, reflection uh, calculate collect generate 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 and uh, works they are they publish or lectures they are giving are having only one conclusion uh, like this for instance we have biodiversity our analysis of the big data we collected confirms that we have biodiversity uh, it's enough to uh, go out uh, go out the building and see what's around look at trees animals grassland even and so on take a microscope and watch the leaf or part of mud we have under our shoe and we will see biodiversity at any level so uh, what are these conclusions telling us these conclusions are telling us that currently people are having no idea what to do in most cases in scientific world they are simply using without any uh, concept without any uh, any plan any strategy the available tools generate uh, this data analyze them use any algorithm possible any algorithm that in most cases uh, would confirm their hypothesis and publish something what's the word of the uh, what's the net worth of this riskless science because uh, first i would say that science in general can be divided into hypothesis driven science and no hypothesis science hypothesis driven science it's mm, uh, it's a discipline of science in which first we construct the hypothesis and later we perform experiments or calculations depends what that to confirm this hypothesis or simply to prove that this hypothesis was wrong but nowadays majority of people do not want to work in the uh, type of science that is hypothesis driven because it's risky what if your hypothesis is not right you uh, that it would be denied by the by the experimental results or by calculations no 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 nowadays ego of many people and especially this approach we have for uh, in recent decades that everything needs to end up as a great success doesn't allow uh, doesn't allow any room for the uh, denial of hypothesis to exist hypothesis cannot be denied it can be only confirmed that's why big data science as i told you because one can selectively collect the select the data to confirm his his or her own thoughts and hypothesis or simply results if we 
take into account complexity and uh, and diversity of the natural material we are analyzing one can use different algorithms and they are not perfect and results will be inconclusive so there is always a way to mm, drag conclusions more into the side of the person who is uh, willing to support his or her hypothesis so this is the uh, reason why bioscience medical science nowadays are not experiencing real progress they are simply stuck within the uh, research that is that is not hypothesis driven it's riskless and it's dominated by a big data mess big data equals big mess all the best have a nice day bye